sake. Fucking man is a fucking missile. Fuck's sake. Come on, let's come on. Fucking heads up. There's no sugar in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got no fucking heart. The fucking goals are a disgrace. I'll tell you now. There may be somebody upstairs watching, watching you play, watching you play, and I tell you if it was me, there's fucking no way I'd come in and take your fucking contract over or your job. Tell him, John. I'll tell, tell you the fucking truth. Tell him. And he's right. He's right. I said to him on the bench, there's no fucking players anymore. I want to be out there. I want to say, I'll fucking deal with you. From me to Lee, from me to Lee Shearer, you're saying, go on, you have a six-yard run at me. You can't mark like that in the fucking box. He's popped it down. That's the fucking second or the third goal. The second goal. I know I've told you to stay up, but you've got from one extreme to the other. As it's been set back and he's wearing the crossing, maybe it can be between the two. But then when the fuck it, it does get fired, and it didn't get fired in with any quality because it came up with Brooks' shins, and then it pops out, and we're fucking like this, ten of us instead of fanning out. Again, fuck what Sid says and what we do in training, we'll do our own thing. Well now I'll fucking tell ya, I'll tell ya, what this fucking geezer wants. But you, you'd have sussed him out, you'd have sussed him out. <coughs> He's looked at it, and there's about six or seven of you in here. He's eight, West is nine. Who are on 35 grand a year plus. You've all got to go. You've all got to go. Anyone on 35 grand and all that, you've all got to go. He wants to bring players in, I'm telling you the truth, <coughs> on my three kids. He wants to bring players in on £250 a week. He wants a wage bill of five grand a week. That's what he wants. But who's going to fucking come and take you on that performance? What he don't know, he's playing with the big boys now, it's a different ball game. He don't realise that contracts mean something. But what he's thinking about, because he's got the clout, he's thinking about offering you settlements. That's what he's thinking, and I'm beginning to think, I said to him on the belt, I'll hold me hands up. I'll hold me hands up, I'm beginning to think the geezer's right. Because I know that if Shearer was in a kit, you'd fucking be off. I know that if Wilkie was in a kit, you'd be off. Because I'd get more out of them fucking kids. Bellamy's holding the back four together. And the only one who's done any work is the goalkeeper. So I'm beginning to think he's right, let's get people in on £200 a week and £250 a week. Who might fucking listen? And then we can get the back right, then we can get the midfield right, then we can move to the forwards. And they're laying on every word that I say, like these do. And they're keeping clean sheets for fun. He might be right. I think he is right. Because none of you except for those two have done anything to justify the fucking money that you earn. None of you. You're a fucking disgrace. Fuck the technical shit. It's down to this. It's down to this. I can hear a man in there with a voice like mine, Monday. It means something to him. He's fucking scored and they're winning 2 0, and he's chased him 40 yards to get underneath him and win a ball. Who's matched them for that? No one. No one. You ain't laid a boot on Taylor. I said to you, at least affect his control. I've affected him, he's 35. And you don't listen. It's no fucking shadow play. In the words of Graham Taylor, at fucking crew, when he was Aston Villa manager, you got us in this fucking mess, now you get us out of it. That's what I'm saying, I'm finished. No more to be said, fuck off out on the pitch, the lot of you. Go on, get out. Come on, hey, come on. Get out. Get fucking good, eh? <coughs>